So we have a responsibility to begin to uninstall corrupted softwares that have been installed in our children. Those of us who are ministers. you can fail to make heaven because of what we call familiarity unaweza kosa na inatoka maana na ile hali ambayo umeshazoea kanisa umezoea maandiko umezoea mahubiri ulizaliwa ukienda Sunday school ulizaliwa ukienda Uh, ukienda uh, 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 ukikuja kanisani Uli, ulizaliwa tu ukapata wewe kanisani unakuja baba yako mama yako ndugu zako m mm, wapendo wako ulizaliwa tu ukija kanisani maybe someone baba yako ni pastor maybe someone mama yako ni pastor ama ni wazee wa kanisa so umezaliwa katika katika mazingira hiyo hiyo mazingira can work the greatest disappointment in your life inaweza kufuzulia kuingia mbinguni maana wewe utakuwa umeshaona kanisa ushaona watu kanisani ushazoea so ile mazingira ya kanisani ukikuja kwako ni kama nyumbani it can cause you to miss heaven it can cause you to miss on god it can cause you to miss on the things of god you can in fact miss your blessing inaweza kufanya ukose baraka hata ni heri kwamba haukujua mambo haya So we have a responsibility to begin to uninstall corrupted softwares that have been installed in our children those of us who are ministers because there are softwares that are corrupted that our children already have uh, have that church is a place there is aliwa nikienda and so far There is nothing new nimeona. And that's why you find the watoto wa wahuduma they don't embrace the things of God with a lot of in depth with a lot of in depth. Hawajashika mambo ya kiungu sana. Because they are waiting. Can't there be something new? Ba utawaambia. So when they come to church, they come to church casually. Wakiingia kanisani tunaingia kanisani casually tukifanya mambo kanisani tunayafanya tu casually na ni hatari kwa watu wale ambao pia umemkaribia mtumishi wa Bwana mnaongea mnasemezana mna smile mna chekeshana mm? so much that when you are preaching aoni kwamba humo katika ofisi ya kuongea maajabu ya Bwana ataiona kama kawaida and that's why many ministers or ministry workers they lack revelation i mean i want our school mambo ya mungu kwa uzito and you know the worst part they can miss heaven whether your pa- your father is a pastor your mother is a pastor your brother is an evangelist hmm? you are an elder baba yako ni elder kanisani i am telling you huyo ni baba yako wewe ni wewe tafuta Mungu maadamu anapatikana Why should these things be so 
It is because we have part of no. We have not yet embraced. We have not yet encountered revelation. We have not come to the point of grasping revelation. I want us to embrace revelation. Come out a part of Funua who is Yesu. You know, some of us, the word Jesus is boring. The name Jesus means nothing. It's just like any other name. Neno Yesu, haimanishi chochote kwetu. Kwa watu wengine, neno Yesu, ni kama majina mengine tu. Ni kama tu majina mengine. Yet, neno la buwano la sema, Kwa wama na kwa jina lake yesu. Inapotajwa jina lake yesu. Kila goti likainama. Na kila ulimi likakiri. Kwa mba yesu kweso ni buwana. Today, the word Jesus is a cliche. Just a cliche. Kuna watu binguni, hukumu yao, iltakwa ni kwambo walidalilisha jina yesu kweso. Walimdalilisha mwana wa mungu. You simply despised. You simply lightly esteemed the name of Jesus. You lightly esteemed. Ulichukulea kwa wepesi. Jina lake Yesu Christo. Hiyo. Kwa wengina itakuwa ndiyo hukumu. Binguni kuingia itakuwa shida. Mana katika amri kumi. Amri tano za kwanza Tato za zungumizia upendo wa Yesu Alafu inaguzia pale kwa amba Na mtu Hau talitumia jina la mungu Ama kulichukulia jina la mungu kwa mzaha Hau talitumia jina la mwajizi mungu Katika hali ya dhihaka na mchezo You will not lightly esteem The name of your master. Hauta ilisikile kwa mzaha. Plus hauta mbao na hapa. Kitu kidogo. Una hapa. Uwe ingai. Kitu kidogo mehapa. Uwe ye. Nyasai. Kitu kidogo mehapa. Kwa kituga ya kwenye. Why should that happen? We lightly esteem. The name of Jesus. It has a judgment. Now in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2. And verses number 30. The house of Eli, nyumba ya Eli. Eli alikuwa kuhani, tena muku. Mbaya alijua kupambanua sauti ya mungu. He is the one that enables Samuel. Alimsaidia mtoto Samueli kujua sauti ya mungu. Kupambanua sauti ya mungu. Kushika sauti ya mungu. Eli kuhani. Eli huyu mmoja, diyo Eli ambaye, hmm? Alitaja tu neno kwa yule mwanamuke, eh, mwanamuke hana. Ambaye haku, ambaye alifungwa tumbo alikuwa na utasa. Ambaye hmm, muke mweza wa haki alikuwa na, fungu, amefunguleo kuzawa wa toto san. Lakini hey, hata mmoja haku anaye. Ikawa siku moja, huyu eli kuhani wabwana. Haka muona mwana mkia huyu kanisani. Anaomba, hakilia, hakinena, haki mimina moe wake kwa buwana. Kisha kadhani ya kwamba mwana mkia huyu ni mulevi. Kumbe haku wa mulevi. Kuhani eli, haka taja tunakambia, Woman, and may it be unto you. May the Lord grant unto you your prayers. Go, it shall be well with you. Huyo ndiyo eli ambaye, neno lake mungu aliyashimu, haka mtimizia ahana mambo maku. Yet the same eli, watoto waki katika maandiko, walifajika chanzo cha eye kuangamia. Walifajika chanzo ya eye, Kufa na wawo siku moja, wana wake watatu. Why? Watoto wake hawa, wali mzoea. Wali zoea ikalo, wali zoea kanisa, wali zoea. 
That's why I want to challenge to those uh, those of us ambao tumeshazoea kanisani. Unaweza panguza viketi but you miss heaven. Unaweza kuonosha hii kanisa but you can miss heaven. Unaweza kuwa unaguza mitambo zetu you can miss heaven. Unaweza kuwa unatuguzia speaker you can miss heaven. Za kwa wewe ni unashughulika na sadaka you can miss heaven. Za kwa wewe ndio intercessa hapa you can miss heaven. Za kwa wewe ni unanipangia m mm? madhabao sawa sawa you can miss heaven. Why so? Is because of familiarity. Lakini ukipata ufunuo wake Yesu. Wamjua huyu Yesu ni nani? Ujue Yesu huyu ndio nani? Then jeans you now you kuja kanisani. Jeans you now you enenda hekaluni. Jeans you now ingia kwa nyumba ya Bwana. How you enter God's house? How you carry yourself? How you package yourself? How you package everything about you? How you enter God's house? How you sit? How you how you adore God? You will understand that everything of such amount to worship. Kitambo, I used to think we can concern just for to onika show. That Kanisa is a place I think I don't know how it got on me that you go to church casually. Eh? you go to church, you wear t-shirts. Go to church, you just wear casual. So I used to wear casual. On a Sunday service, I'm just casual. When I go to office, I wear official. And that's how people treat God. Your approach to God is casual. But your approach to men is official. You and I, you are a worshiper of men. And a despiser of God. People will tell you, ah, God is interested in the affairs of your heart. Mungu anajelishwa sana moyo wako. Wewe vaa vibaya, vaa kawaida, vaa fani fani, jibebesha vile utajibebesha tu. And then tutagundua kwamba one day kwamba binguni hawezi kupenya. Kama utasaidika ujue jinsi ya kwenda mbele za Mungu unahitaji ufunuo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this revelation There are two aspects of revelation I want us to understand. There are two aspects of revelation that I want you to take note. One, we have the term revelation that is drawn or that is a translation that is a derivation from the word reveal. That word reveal is translated from the word Greek word apocalypse or apocalypse that word apocalypse means exposure means exposure means exposure tafsiri ya Kiswahili ingesema kwamba neno hili ufunuo inatoka maana na neno la kiyunani ambayo inasema kufunuliwa ila hali ya kufunuliwa na kufunuliwa nimesema unaweza funuliwa kwa kiasi sio kwa yote unafunuliwa kiasi so kiasi kikubwa cha ufunuo bwana siwe kuna kiasi kikubwa ya ufahamu na kiasi kidogo Then the second aspect of this uh, of this revelation is the aspect of the spirit. I mean the aspect of the spirit. So there is a spirit of revelation that Paul talks about in chapter number 1 verse number 17 of Ephesians. So Ephesians 1:17 that's chapter 1 verse number 17 Apostle Paul talks about this revelation this spirit of revelation Hallelujah So if you look at them so you find that in the book of Deuteronomy 29:29 29, 29, 
Moses, the writer of Deuteronomy, talks, uh, 20, uh, chapter 29, verse number 29, he talks about God revealing to you. Mungu kukufunulia, hmm, ufunuo. So nampata Nabi Musa, mbae ni muandishi eh, wa kumbukumbu la torati, anasema na mambo ya liyo siri ni mambo yake mungu. Walakini, mambo yale mungu atafanya kukufunulia. Atafanya kukufunulia. Siri zila ambazo mungu atakufunulia. Niko manufaya, manufaya yako wewe vile vile watoto wako. So, anaongelea kufunuliwa pale. Kila ambacho anaongelea pale ni neno ufunuo. Basi neno lile ufunuo lina sehemu ya roho wa ufunuo. Neno roho wa ufunuo ndio upande ambao pia Mtume Paulo anauzungumzia katika e, katika Waefeso moja mstari wake ni 17 hadi 20. Kwa maandiko zake ama barua zake ambazo mtume Paulo ameazungumzia hmm? ametaja mambo haya ufunuo katika nakala zake karibu zote ufunuo so kuna roho wa ufunuo kama mtu utamjua Yesu kama utapata kuzama ukabatizwa ukazama katika ufahamu huu ufahamu wa Yesu Kristo basi utahitaji roho wa ufunuo kukusaidia na roho wa ufunuo sio roho mwingine kando tofauti na roho mtakatifu ni yeye yule roho moja roho wa Bwana roho wa Mungu roho mtakatifu ambaye ana upande mwingine ambaye ana anaweza sema ana idara he has a dimension that dimension of the spirit of god that reveals things we call that dimension as revelation There is a, now we call it the spirit the disposition towards the aspect of revelation is what we term as the spirit of revelation so it is the performance of the spirit of god in the dimension of revelation na hiyo mtu utafuta unaweza pewa na mungu akipenda akitaka na vile ataamua kama hujapata katika hali hizo basi ni jukumu lako wewe mtu mkristo anza safari ya kuomba Mungu Mungu ninataka unipe ufunuo Mungu ninatamani unipe ufunuo Mungu ninataka so kama ulingoja Mungu akupe maana yeye upeana maana ta waislamu hupewa they are simply given they have no labored for it they have no labored so they are just given pewa tu wakipewa utasikia anasema kwamba kumbe Isa sio sio yule Isa ambao tunamsikia kumbe Yesu ni Kristo ni mwokozi kumbe sio Isa nabii tena maana Yesu akajifunua kwao Yesu akajitambulisha kwao wakapata ile hali ya kumjua Yesu katika hali ya ufunuo I pray someone Mungu akusaidie na hiyo katika jina la Yesu. Na kama hajakupea hiyo, basi wewe jitahidi katika mafundisho na maandiko na uombe Mungu sana akusaidie kwa roho wa ufunuo. Hallelujah. Someone receive this one in the name of Jesus. This one shall deliver you right now in the name of Jesus. Pokea hii. So wewe ambao umekuwa mkristo, you can be a Christian for as long as you can remember but heaven there are things that you'll never access na ndio maana Kenya tuache kujigamba that we are a Christian nation tuache kujigamba that we are Kenya eh this is the inch of our Christo that we are a Christian nation tunajigamba that we are 80% Christian that's a lie Kenya watu waokoke We are a nation 80% religious. Sisi ni asilimia themanini wa Kenya. Asilimia themanini ya wa Kenya tuseme kwamba sisi ni watu wa dini. We are religious. We are so religious that even shopping we are religious. Ndio maana tuna mega mega supermarkets. Shopping is religious. Kuna watu ambao 
Kama watafanya shopping, they'll rather die. So we are competing to buy. We are competing to buy. Kama ni kuangalia runinga, we wash it religiously. A religious nation. Kama ni kufuata fashion. Any new fashion that Satan releases. Wakenya ndia hao, tunayangukia. So that's why we and America today, we are just the same. Kenya plus and America today compare in terms of fashion. Wanava long, tunava long. Wanava uchi, tunava uchi. Wanajipaka, tunajipaka. Wanajipodoa, tunajipodoa. Wana bling bling, pia si tuna bling bling. We are keeping tag. Tunajieka katika hali ya mfuatano na wao. Hatua aste aste. Hatua chan. Because we, though we are like we are third world nation, a developing nation, but in terms of fashion and trends, we are at par. Why so? We are religious. Anything release, we want. In terms of shopping, in terms of fashion, in terms of TV, in terms of soap opera, plus in terms of phone. So very soon. Kenya also joins the League of Nations. Baza mitanao zao. Hmm? Ni G5. Now it is being launched. Come and see this year, next year. So we'll be at par with America and Europe. In terms of our phone gadgets. Mitanao zetu pia. Takwane na yokasi hiyo hiyo. These things niliziona wakati nilipelekwa katika ufunuo. Ambe ni kupeleko katika maono yale kujua imambo na Babylon. Ulimangu ule, mbone ulimangu wa giza. Uke na pale hakuna giza. So unapata Kenya hamuna haja tujigambe. That's why our prayers are taking so long for God to answer. Diyo mana maumbezi ya wa Kenya ya chukwa muda sana kujibiwa. Because we go before God with a tag. That we are a Christian nation. So tunenda kana kwa mba tunajigamba. We are Ephraimites. Sisi ni kama tu wa Ephraimu. Tumaiva upande mmoja. Na tumebaki. Tuko na ubichi. Pande mwingine. Tumeoza upande mmoja. Tumeiva upande mwingine. Munga na potukula kama maandazi. Ama mkati kama keki. Lada yetu katika midomo yake mungu. Ni mbofu. Tunatemwa. So that's why it has taken Kenya so long to repent. So long. Because we have a tag that we are a Christian nation. Of course Kenya is a nation that is so much loved of God. Sisi ni taifa ambalo munga mailipenda san. Miongoni mwa mataifa mangine. We are a nation that God so loves. We are like the apple of God's eye among us nations. East Africa and in Africa. We are just like Israel. Sisi ni kama Israeli katikati ya inchi ya wa Arabu. And when God begins to judge us, look, wakati munga meaza kukumu Kenya, we are in the League 5. America, Europe nations, in Africa, tumechukulua Kenya too, tulichukulua mbele ya South Africa. Judgment. Kama munga na kupenda sana, then akianza kukuwadhibu, Ata kuwadhibu sana. Mana upenda waki hangi litaka kwa mba wa umie. Na unaadhibiwa sana mana kuna mambo mengi ambazo unajua. Yule ajuwae mambo mengi. He uadhibiwa na vichapo viboko vingi. Yule asiejua mambo sana. He uadhibiwa kwa uchache. Kenya we are like. Tuna makalisa mengi kuliko inchi zinginezo. We are just like. Tisi na Nigeria tunapelekana mbio. Makanesa Kenya. Madehebu Kenya. Yet, we are not a Christian nation as we think. We are a nation of pagans. We are just religious. Tungesema asilimia kidogo sana. Ambaye nafikiri ni kama asilimia dani ya hii asilimia themanini. Ama ishiri liosalia. Wachache sana. Na hona wamefanya mungu anashikilia inchi hii Kenya. Otherwise, God can have wiped us out. This morning when I was thinking about this message, nilikuwa na pati wa tasura ya the inch na ito ya Tigris. I mean, inch ya Eritrea. 
Mani sehemu ya Ethiopia. Iriti alikuwa sehemu ya Ethiopia. Then Tigris pia ni sehemu ya Ethiopia. Then Tigris inataka kuyondoa the nation Tigris want to cut off itself from the entire Ethiopia. Yet there are Christians there. Look at vile mga mekubali. Nchi hii mekanyagwa. Persecution. Wa mekanyagwa kwa nyagwa. God can allow such a thing. God could have allowed it to happen to Kenya. Tukanyagwe kabisa. But dadi kidogo sana wa kristo. Hii dadi kidogo sana. Hawa ndio maombi yao. Ime shikilia inchi hii. Ni kuhajili gani? Why do we deceive ourselves like this? Yet we are in the truth is 80% of uh, of Kenyans hmm? they are not Christians they are they are they are religious fellows. Hawa ni makafiri ambao wanajificha na majini ya kanisa. Hawa ni makafiri. Hawa ni watu wa tamaduni, they are traditionalist. Watu ambao their loyalty is in their tribes. Their loyalty is in their culture. Their loyalty is in their education. Their loyalty is in fashion. Their loyalty is in their appetite. Their loyalty is in their philosophy. Not God. They only call upon God when they are in crisis. We are simply religious. Why isn't Kenya improving? Why aren't we improving? To be a nation that really fears God. We are retrogressing. My pastor wait on to danganya. Manabi wetu umetudanganya, maaskofu wetu umetudanganya, wanjilisti wengi umetudanganya. What is happening? But la tusonge mbele we become a better nation. We have been oxidating ile hali ya kurudi nyuma. So much that judgment ikikushuka Kenya. But hata tuelewe ni Mungu anatuchapa. Tuna tu, I mean atuelewe atushiki. Tunapigwa na Somali pamoja. Tunapigwa na Ethiopia pamoja. Tunapigwa na inchi ya walokole, inchi ya watu makafiri pamoja. Tumelu, tumerundikwa pamoja na waislamu. Tunapigwa pamoja lakini bado Kenya atuwa mukangi. Then we want to jigamba kwamba you are a Christian nation. Some evangelists wake up in Jesus name. Some intercessor wake up in Jesus name. Some pastor wake up. Some apostle prophet wake up. Ndio maana waimbaji wetu hmm? tunadhani watu watu wanatuimbia nyimbo za za injili. Hakuna ni kibandiko cha injili natumia lakini hao ni nyani wale wale. Wa dunia wale wale. Why has this happened? Wa, ma, ma, watimishi wengi wa Mungu na wale ambao walijua Mungu hapo awali tumechangia kwa kuwaharibu umati mkubwa wa wa Kenya kuharibu katika safari ya wokovu tumeharibu vipi na hapa ndiyo lazima mafundisho haya ikuingie ndio ufanye toba sawa sawa tumechangia Kenya kuwa namna ilivyo tumechangia watoto kuwa namna walivyo tumechangia vijana kuwa namna walivyo tumechangia wasichana kuwa jinsi walivyo tumechangia manabii bandia kuja Kenya namna walivyo sisi tumewachangia wale ambao tulijua Mungu mbele hao tunahubiri mahubiri ambayo yana ufunuo tunahubiri mahubiri yasiyo na ufunuo ndio maana tuna revival kila mhubiri akijitokeza anajitokeza na mahubiri ambazo watu watafurahia mahubiri ambazo watu watafurahia mahubiri ambazo watu watamfuata mahubiri ambazo watu watatisimuka Mabili ambazo watu wakasisimuka Allah someone repent So tumerundikwa makansani na tumeenda makansani na master A tunavaa vibaya tunaongea vibaya tunaingia vibaya tunakaa kansani vibaya tunaondoka vibaya then tunaishi vibaya then we expect God to answer our prayers I don't think so What you expect ni Mungu kutubeba na masikio. Kwa upendo wake atubeba na masikio. Kwa upendo wake atubebe fimbo. Kwa upendo wake angalau tutaraze viboko hapa na pale. Angalau tuingie mbinguni. Utarazwe hapa. Lakini mbinguni usikose. Tumeleta mahubiri ambazo 
We have been preaching messages that lacks revelation. Very few apostles of Christ, very few prophets or teachers of the world, very few preachers or pastors or evangelists of the world, very few of them have entered the dimension of revelation of Christ Jesus. Very few of have entered in God and they have mined from God a revelation or knowledge of God and present to us that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the lamp of the Holy One of Israel. Very few. That today we lock out Jesus from the church and then we are using the history and the name of Jesus to run our affairs. That is idolatry. That is hypocrisy. That is delusion. The greatest delusion we have it. Then when we are like Bora tujibiwi munga me atujibu kama mechelewa sana tunaruka inchi jirani. Aruka kidogo ingia Uganda. Tafuta pale eh? tafuta pale nguvu za kununua za Uganda leta kanisani. Tunaruka kidogo Nigeria, tunaruka kidogo Ghana, sawa ruka kidogo Malawi, ruka kidogo Mozambique, ruka kidogo South Africa. Unatafuta nini? Ruka kidogo Nigeria. Unatafuta nguvu za kishetani kuyatumia kanisani. Ndio vile kanisa Kenya imeharibiwa. Tumezibwa mpaka masikio ya kiroho so much that when God is talking, atusiki. Nasikia rege ya Yesu kanisani. Tunasikia ngoma ya Yesu kanisani. Tunasikia ndombolo ya Yesu kanisani. Tunasikia hip hop ya Yesu kanisani. How do you know? How do you confirm? Look at all our gospel songs. They are tunes. They are not original. They are fake. They are copied. Name them. We bring them to church. So kanisani, we are hypnotized. Na nyimbo kama hizo. Then you think that it is the Holy Ghost. There is no Holy Ghost. And no one has risen to question mambo haya. Nilikuwa nasikia mambo haya nikile usiku. I mean this is just a season. And yet the Lord is revealing so much. Putting so much in my spirit. Kwamba Kenya. Watumishi Mungu wachache sana ndio wana uwezo wa kupambanua kama nabii ni bandia na kama nabii si bandia kama mtume ni bandia na kama mtume si bandia kama mwalimu ni bandia na kama mwalimu si bandia kama mwimbaji ni bandia na kama si bandia yani watumishi wa Wakristo wa, wa, wa wachache sana wana roho wa kupambanua I, yes, I was just like my goodness is this this is how far you are fallen. So tunapoimba Ebenezer sio mbali huu Mungu ametufikisha ni Ebenezer umbali huu kwa bidii yetu tumefika. The church in Kenya is rotten. So much that kukinulua mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ana mafuta ya ukweli tena pia hatujui hatushiki. Fact yendo tunaanza kuona kwamba eh kama atahubiri kinyume na kile tumefundishwa huyo ni fake. Kama atahubiri kinyume na kile ambacho tumezoea huyo ni adui. Kama atahubiri kinyume na kile ambacho Mungu ametupatia we suspect him. Because he ruffles our feathers the wrong way. Kuna makanisa yatafungwa. Na sio shetani anafunga. Baba Mungu mwenyewe, ama ni Yesu mwenyewe na kiboko atayafunga. Yaani kilicho nisikitisha sana wakati Mungu alinipia siri hiyo kwamba Kenya hii tunajigamba that we are a Christian nation yet washungaji wengi hawezi pambanua kwamba katikati yao kuna wakora waliingia wanatembea na wao wanakula na wao alafu wale ambao wamezama katika ushetani sana tunachukua pesa zetu tunawapelekea waliopeleka pesa kwa James Nganga wa repent wanaopeleka sadaka kwa Manyuru wa repent 
wanaopeleka matoleo m mm? kwa mwai mwai wa repent because yani maskofu wa Nairobi nikashindwa Nairobi ambayo ina idadi kubwa ya wachungaji they are so blinded bwana akaniambia mambo hayo nikasikia ningekuwa tuna uwezo ningefungua tv station moja kubwa sana na niweke mambo haya wazi think of why mungu anagura kenya kwa mambo mengi ndio hiyo kama mapasta wengi wamesanya sadaka zao wakampelekea James Nganga Nairobi and the environs wakasanya matoleo na madhabihu wakapeleka kwa wale mwai wa Jesus something something kwa hiyo manyuru ni wachungaji wanamuona silisili na vitu wanapewa mafuta Mumefukuza Mungu Kenya. Na mnafanya bidii kumfukuza. Alafu wewe na release judgment yenye Mungu ameniambia, unapata sasa na release judgment hapa. Ninaona kama kwa screen, kuna mabishwa ambao wanaomba kinyume na mimi. You pray kinyume na mimi, na unajikata mafuta very soon you will be finished. Uwezi piga mtumishi ambaye Mungu ameinua. Hmm. When I said about the things what I have spoken, hmm? Ninaona kwa kwa kiroho ma mabisho ambao wanaomba kinyume na unabii <laughs> you laugh but why so ni kwa ajili wana upofu yesu akasema na wanaongozwa na vipofu hata na wao watatambukia kwa shimo hiyo hiyo ya vipofu vipofu wao wanaongoza kwa mashimo wao pia watatumbukia mashimoni I was so sudden. So sudden. So kama unaongozwa na wahubiri wa na wa viongozi wa makanisa ambao ni hata wajuku kupambanua huyu ni wa Yesu Kristo na huyu sio wa Yesu na unakula na yule ambaye ni wa Yesu. Yesu alijua kwamba Judas Iscariot ni muizi. Na alijua kwamba Judas Iscariot ni msaliti. Yesu alijua. How many of us know that um, hmm, the people you eat with people you dine with are antichrist. Bala upinge roho walio nayo unashirikiana na roho walio nayo. We've aided evil in Kenya. We have aided wickedness in Kenya. We have aided wickedness in church tumechangia uharibifu wa madhabahu that's why god does not visit altars ni madhabahu chache kenya ambako mungu anatembea madhabahu mengi kenya inanuka uvundo inanuka harufu mbaya kwamba ukienda unaona kana damu unatoka ukienda makanisa kama hayo madhabahu kama yale haukuwa na tamaa ya zina Ukiingia unakuwa na tamaa ya zina. Haukuwa na roho wa zina, ukiingia unakuwa na roho wa zina, roho wa wizi, udanganyifu, uovu. Unashika hayo maro kwenye yale madhabahu. Mbona? Kwa ajili hatuku hatuja tamani, hatujapata roho wa ufunuo. Hatujamjua Yesu huyu. We have not known this Jesus. Na wale ambao walimjua huyu Yesu, mnamjua kwa sehemu. Na hiyo sehemu mlijua, sehemu hiyo ni kana kwamba imepiku ime ime imepitwa na ufunuo zingine so in terms of revelation that we once heard about Jesus we have remained there we have been stagnant there preaching Jesus of 1940 preaching Jesus of 1950 preaching Jesus of tukutendere za 1960 preaching Jesus of the old revival 1945 Preaching Jesus of those days of independence 1960 uh, something preaching Jesus and the move of God of the 1970s very good but very good is not enough why can't you preach Jesus now the move of God in the now Jesus Christ as he is today Bible says the same yesterday today and forever. So if you remain with the very same revelation that was there then, 
Yet the same Jesus has moved. He wants us to be transformed in the now. We are deceiving ourselves. So keep ukiubiria watu yesu huyo. Watu nasema hii tulisikia. Tell me something new. Tell me something. Ukiniambia about yesu wa zamani hiyo. Hiyo zamani mi likuwa Sunday school. That Jesus of then, I was in Sunday school. I heard him, I heard about him. Then I heard about the same, same Jesus. Huh? Even in my youth and now. I am a mature man. Can with this Jesus? It's boring. So today we are trying to undo that boringness, that that tendency of stagnation. We are trying to incorporate other things to make it lively. Other things. So we bring disco to church, bring fashion to church, we bring speakers to church, bring motivators, uh, motivational speakers to church. We bring, in fact, even some will bring Asians to church to speak. Tuspochunga sa, tuleta wa Arabu kanisani wa speakers. Tuspochunga, tuleta Quran kanisani, shall bring Quran. If you're not careful, tuleta Karl Marx in church. Today we bring financial gurus in church to teach us how to become rich. Because to make Kosa ufuno. Jinsi ya kuendeleza. Yesu tulie mujua. Yesu alie funuliwa kwetu. To maintain the same revelation to date. And to upgrade. Hmm? The more you sink in God. The more you sink in God. The more you find that this God. And the spirit of Christ in God. Is dynamic. Dynamic. Dynamic dynamic to my cause here someone the lord deliver you in jesus name some intercessor cry someone seek god seek to be revealed seek that god reveals to you jesus seek that jesus reveal to you himself may the lord deliver us in jesus name hallelujah mfano watu ambao walifanya makuu Mm, I've just been looking and say, God, by the time you, I'm done with this one, I believe that there will be many people who shall have a new dimension knowledge about Jesus. Peter. Apostle Peter. So we have John, I call him prophet John the Baptist. That Give us introduction of what he knows about Jesus in John chapter number one. From verse number one. He has the revelation knowledge of Jesus. And he gives us a glimpse of what he knows. Jesus revealed. Jesus revealed. He talks about him in John one from verse number one. I've read that one also. That in the beginning hmm, there was what? There was the word. And the word. He said that in the beginning was God. Then in the beginning there was the word. In the beginning there was Christ Jesus. Then he marries that knowledge, that revelation together. Saying that this word was God. And the word was with God. And this word, he comes to the finishing end. And say it is Jesus. John 1. Then we come to one mm, John the Revelator mm, who, who writes the revelation. Others call him John the Divine, Apostle John the Divine, Apostle John the Revelator. He has various names. Mm. Scholars the, uh, have given him various names. So some scholars call him Apostle John the Revelator or Apostle John the Divine. Others call him Apostle John the Beloved. Whichever names they have given him is still fine. I may go with either of them. Chapter 1. He gives his revelation. Kama huyu Yohana mwenye ufuno. Haku ufunuli wa Yesu. Hatu ngelikuwa na kitabu cha ufuno. The kitabu cha ufuno is the book that now 
every Christian must make effort kuisoma. Kitabu cha Danieli sasa ndicho kitabu ambacho kila mkristo, kila mtumishi baya atakayojua kwamba saizi tuko wapi katika katika kalenda ya kiroho soma Danieli. Kama utasoma Danieli, ukasoma kitabu cha Juda, that is Jude. Na ushikanishe na ufunuo, utaelewa kitabu cha Amos vizuri sana. Maana mambo ya sasa yameongelewa hmm, na na mitume mitume hao Joeli na utabiri akautabiri mambo haya. Chapter 2. We are entering revival season. But remember revival haita haita revival itashika kasi baada ya hukumu hmm? kuna hukumu ambayo lazima ikamilike. Kuna hukumu ambayo lazima itukule. Inawaingiza katika hali ya maombezi kutafuta Mungu wa msamaha, kutafuta Mungu wa rehema kutafuta Mungu wa torehemu katika hali hiyo na kiu hiyo na njaa hiyo then Mungu atapata watu ambao anataka wa kuzalisha revival kuna manabii na mitume kuna watu sasa ambao Mungu anawatumia kuzalisha nini kuzalisha revival so ufunuo watu hawa ufunuo ambao pia ika, i, nani akapata apostle peter mtume petro akaupata na anatuambiaje anasema hivi katika uh, first peter chapter number 1 verse number 11 first peter 1:11 first peter 1:11 kwa wakati wako utaisoma kuanzia uh, kitabu cha petro waraka wa kwanza wa petro ukiyasoma na vitabu vidogo sana lakini ningependa uyasome yote so uh, sura ya kwanza kuanzia mstari wake eh ni kumi anazungumzia hmm? anazungumzia mambo na wokovu so of which salvation that's verse number 10 first peter chapter 1 verse number 10 of which salvation the prophets have inquired and have searched diligently They inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that shall come unto you. Hallelujah. So mambo haya na wokovu ambao leo hii tumesahau hmm? uzito wake na umuhimu wake. Manabi wale wa kitambo walifanya hmm? kuuliza, kutafiti, kuchunguza, wakatafuta kwa bidii, hmm? wajue unabii Zilizo wainenda kuhusu neema hii ambao sasa tumaupokea. Bao pia inapokezwa. Inapokezwa vipi? Uh, searching what or what manner of the time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should should do what that should follow wakafanya kutafuta hmm? wajue ni jinsi hmm? wajue ni wakati upi majira yapi nyakati gani roho wa Kristo Yesu hmm? alie ubiriwa alie tabiriwa roho wa Kristo Yesu baya alihubiriwa hapo awali the spirit of christ which was in them hmm? such in what or what manner of time the spirit of christ which was in them did signify the manner of time nyakati gani nyakati hizo zime hata daniel anasema nyakati ambazo manabii waliangalia sana wakatamani malaika wengu pia wametamani nyakati kama hizi hmm? nyakati ambazo tunaingia and testified beforehand of the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow utukufu ambao sasa utachipuka utukufu ambao utafunuliwa unakuja vipi inakujanga wakati verse number 12 nasema 
and to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to, to look into. Hallelujah. And to whom it was revealed. Kwa watu wala mbao imefunuliwa. Mambo ya kristo. Siri za kristo yesu. Uku wa kristo yesu. Yesu kristo uyu. Kufunuliwa kwako. Na amefichika kwetu. Mana atuja pata watumisha mbao. Wangeshikilia moto, wangeshikilia nguvu, wangeshikilia roho, wangeshikilia ufunuo, wangeshikilia siri hiyo, wangeshikilia makweli yale wale uyapata. Kuhubiri uu yesu watu wa mjue. Wametubiria upungufu. Wale choka, kuna watu wale choka. Kuna watu wale shinda kuendelea na ufunuo. Kuna watumisha mbao, mm, labda wale tama yao iliisha. Wakaona mm, wamechoka wakawachia hapo matokeo matokeo ni mambo tunayaona sasa I'll be talking about jinsi watumishi wa Mungu wamefanyika mchango mkubwa kanisa la Kristo kuwa namna ilivyo sasa uharibifu Naambia kuna session ya watumishi ambao wataungua session yao session 2 ya kuzimu ambao watapangwa kwa wingi section yao watakuwa naambia na eh hey, atoa amekuja hapa eh hey, mimi nifikiri ume make eh hey, kumbe wapi uko hapa na kuna watumishi ambao unaonekana ni wazuri lakini kile kitakachochangia wao kuto make heaven ni ni kwamba wali choka hawakuwa na ile bidii ya kuendelea piga hatua maana wangezalisha ufunuo wa Yesu kwa watu wakawachia hapo so kuna watu ambao walikuwa na ngoja mimi nitaokoka kama nitaambua kitu kingine tofauti na kile najua kumhusu Yesu ndio nitaokoka otherwise mambo meniambia kumhusu Yesu hata kwa Uislamu nimeambiwa tell me something new ndio maana kuna watu kama wataokoka lazima waambie something very new about Jesus. Kwambia hiyo nilijua alizaliwa na Maria mwana mama wa Yesu. Mm -hmm. Baba yake ni Yusufu. Kwanza najua alikuwa fundi pigaranda. Mm -hmm. Sema ingine. Ambia kukufa na najua alikufa akafufuka na alisulubishwa pale Golgotha na sasa ako mbinguni. Tell me something else. Cap that the Jesus you tell me. That one I know. I have Naambia wachungaji, Mungu alipotia mambo haya nikasema Mungu nisaidie kwa hii Mungu nisiwe bayana ya watumishi hao naomba Mungu tu just nisaidie niwe na utofauti that was my prayer na sikuwa na furai sikuwa na furai i was not excited as i always will be coming to preach this morning after what jesus kitu haku niambia ni kwamba wewe pia chunga because unaweza ingia kwa orodha hiyo hiyo ndio haku niambia wachungaji wengi wanafikiri tuna binguni wachungaji sio wote tuna binguni na wachungaji mnao mnisikia please rudi kwa bwana na machozi maana uende ikawa kumbe wewe ni mchungaji aliye kwenye orodha Ya wachungaji wale waliochangia kanisa kulala jinsi imelala. Lafu Mungu akiinua nabii ama mtume ambaye amemweka moto na ujumbe, mm. unaangalia unafanya m. Mm. Unakosoa kosoa m. Mm. Unakosoa kosoa m. Mm. Unakosoa kosoa m. Mm. Siku zako zimehesabiwa. Repent. Atuja wasilisha ufunuo wa Yesu kwa watu. Ndiyo mana kuna watu mekata kuokoka. Na kuzidi sana. Kuharibu sana. Kwa mba leo hii. Wale walioanza vema na kristo katika ukovu kanisani. Wanaanguka wakitoka inje. Wanaanguka wakitoka inje. 
that we are contributing either depopulating the church of Jesus losing the saints or populating the house of God with the corrupt that's why you see pastors who bring waimbaji unawaita gospel singers wameshuka dreads twist twist nywele twist twist nywele twist twist nywele alafu wanaingia kwa saloon wanachapwa rangi kwa nywele then they come to church alafu nakubufalia t-shirt nimechapwa maandiko mzuri i love jesus Maybe wakamalizia na kila na question mark what about you So kijana anaangalia eh hey, kama hii ndio miondoko ya Yesu nifanana na kijana ni dai nywele ni twist nywele Alafu na zapoa madhabahu nirukeruka hapa nirukie JC JC sema hiyo ndio nataka So tumejaza kanisa na ulimwengu we have helped satan populate the house of god with evil Yesu aliingia na nyaunyo kama alifanya hiyo Yerusalemu kwa hekalu then tutamruhusu Yesu angalau ili tuingie binguni tafadhali aje na nyaunyao apige kanisani acharaze kanisani atingize kanisa ayumbishe madhabao atingize watumishi awaingize jangwani awacharaze vilivyo awachuje angalau kuna watu baada hapo na zaingia binguni Lakini kama Yesu atafanya hiyo then ni barabara ya kuzimu tunaenda wholesale wanaenda wholesale mimi nimekataa hiyo barabara siendi So look angalia vile maskofu wamechangia mambo hayo Then sauti ya wao kupinga uovu hakuna maana walikula vitu vilivyoletwa hapa vitu vilivyonajisika wale wale kula kula na wao how will you challenge them utawaambia e, 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 utawaambiaje na sauti yako kiazi kimo kwenye koo kisu majiwekea kwenye koo utasema nini utasema sema kwa Yesu njoo namna ulivyo kaa namna ulivyo Yesu atakusaidia namna ulivyo god takes time to make us so hata wenye dhambi ni kwa neema ya Bwana. Kazana tu. Kazana tu maana kuzimu ndo naingia. That's my addition. Lakini kumbuka kwamba kuna ufunuo wake Yesu. Haleluya. Tunaambiwa na Petro anasema hivi. Yaani hata malaika wametamani vitu vinavyotokamana na utajiri uliomo ndani ya Yesu kama Yesu angewasilishwa na vyema then mtumishi ambaye atamwasilisha Yesu anahitaji ufunuo look at the flow from verse number 11 verse number 11 talking about the spirit of Christ roho wa Kristo roho wake Kristo mbaya mchango wake unachangia wewe kufunuliwa Yesu Then msari wa 12 and to whom it was revealed kwa watu wale kafunuliwa wewe pia ufunuliwe kumhusu Yesu ufunuliwe Yesu afunuliwa kwako Then msari wa 10 uh, na 2 uh, 13 Hivyo basi hmm? funga Sema hiyo asili ya mawazo yako wherefore give up the loins of your mind which means akili zako ina sehemu nyeti kwa lugha ya kisasa be sober and hope to the end shikilia tumaini hili hadi mwisho be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ so lazima ushikilie imani uwe na ile mtazamo ule mtazamo ndao lishikilia kumhusu Yesu shikilia kwa hali hiyo paka kuna neema ambayo kuna neema ambayo itaachiliwa kuna hiyo neema ambayo itakushukia neema hiyo ni neema ambayo itakushukia 
wakati pale Yesu Kristo atafunuliwa kwako. So safari hii ambayo umeshika yokovu kuna mahali na kufikisha. Kila mtu anafika mahali ambamo Yesu anafunuliwa kwako. Mimi alifunuliwa kwangu. Safari ya okovu kama utashikilia kwa bidii na kiu na njaa na kujitoa kutolegeza kamba kutochoka kutokata tamaha utafika mahali penye kuna kiwango ambacho atafunuliwa kwako Yesu Kristo kiwango pale kuna awamu ambao utaingia penye Yesu anajifunua kwako haleluya haleluya that is another dimension So lazima akili zako mtazamo wako ukamakinika na hiyo inatoka maana na wewe kuhubiriwa Kristo maandiko sawa sawa huyo Yesu ni yupi huyo Yesu ni nani utajiri wake ni gani tumewacha utajiri ndani ya Yesu tumekimbia kutafuta takataka kule nje tumetafuta maovu kwa wachawi kwa walozi kwa wasihiri tumedanganywa na manabii bandia ndio maana wahubiri wa majifu wa majijaza na vitu ambavyo ni kuwanasa wa Kristo ambao wamekosa ufahamu wa Yesu vitambara maji tumafuta tuvifagio mwingine hmm? unapatiwa peremende mwingine unapewa vitu vya kuoga nazo maji matakachafu maji matakatifu because tumedanganywa some of us tumepewa vitabu ambazo za jabu ajabu hmm? prayer books eh na kala za maombezi this is how to pray hmm? Ten ways of praying 40 prayer points 40 ways of praying about this and the other nakwambia maombi kuna roho wa maombezi ambaye Zakaria alipewa ufunuo katika Zakaria sura ni 12 msari wa kumi. na akasema mm, and god shall pour unto you the spirit of supplication and prayer and god shall pour unto you the spirit of grace and prayer plus application and you shall be able to pray so kuna roho wa maombezi ambao unapewa katika hali kutafuta hasa unaandikiwa 40 ways of praying oh oh 40 formulas of praying go read the career chapter number 12 verse number 10 hosea akapewa siri na ufunuo maombezi nabi hosea akaiandika katika hosea 10:12 hosea 10 verse number 12 he talks about digging digging you dig in prayer kupiga haro hmm? kupiga kulima shamba hmm? kulima ile hali ya kubreaking vile wa shamba ambaye yalimo na ilima mara ya kwanza hosea ameiongelea katika hosea 10 mstari wa 12 nasema mtaki kuandikia hizo you are limiting god kuna njia ma elf na ma elf ma elf ma mia na ma milioni ya kuomba so ukiandika oh 40 40 ways eh, these are 40 ways of praying what about the the 100 million ways that someone should pray mtu balaa hiyo zama ndani ya roho wa Mungu zama ndani ya Kristo maana yeye haleluya yeye ndiye roho wa maombezi Kristo Yesu so roho wa Kristo ndiye roho wa maombezi roho wa Kristo ndiye roho wa ufunuo roho wa Kristo haleluya ndiye roho ambaye unahitaji so that utaomba kama Kristo Waebrania 5 saba yeye Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliomba kwa hali zote huyo Yesu mmoja hmm? katika bustani la Getsemani pale kaomba akashangazwa na wanafunzi wake akawaambia hamngelikesha hata sari moja mariko 14 mstari wa 34 mpaka 37 kaambia hamngeliomba hata sari moja kesheni mkiomba msije mkaingia majaribuni leo hii an average kenyan christian anaomba dakika kumi. amefanya maombi sana huyo ni average now 10 minutes na Yesu akamwambia wanafunzi wake hata lisari moja that means level ya chini sana ambaye wewe utaweza omba 
Na maombi yako angalau ikuondoe katika majaribu ya dhambi ni one hour. Kama za maintain one hour. Then hiyo. Na mkuu wakati walikuwa naomba Judas Iscariot hakukua. So that means kama Judas Iscariot pia angefanya kuomba angalau above one hour. Then labda yeye pia angetumika na shetani kumsaliti Yesu labda ingeangukia mtu ingeangukia mtu mwingine So how many Christians are praying one hour How many mimi ni pastor I have a church Hapa ni wangapi una maintain one hour So roho wa Yesu mwenyewe japo alikuwa ndiye Kristo Tena ndiyo mwenye roho wa maombezi maana yeye ndiyo roho wa Kristo aliomba we learn from him Is he not the same same one that taught his disciples how to pray Matthew chapter 6 verse number 9 to 11 Wanafunzi wakamwambia Yesu Bwana si tufundishe jinsi ya kuomba Akamwambia haya Kama mtaomba mtaomba jinsi hii Baba yetu aliye juu mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako uje hmm? mapenzi yako yatimike hapa duniani jinsi ilivyo juu mbinguni haleluya this jesus had a revelation of downloading what is in the heavenly place down here on earth kaambia hivi ndo mtaomba so how many of us today are praying the mind of god on earth ni wangapi watumishi wangapi wanaomba mapenzi ya Mungu wanaizalisha kuleta hapa duniani na akasema at least one hour at least one hour thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven without revelation you cannot mambo haya pasipo mahubiri ya ufunuo haiwezekani Pasipo mhubiri ambaye atasema sikuli sili sinywi na silali siondoki mbele za kubwana paka nipate hii kitu siku 40 siku 70 siku 100 so naona pasta umbali ambao umeenda ndio mbali ambao washika wako watafika na kama mshika wako ataanza kuona mambo makubwa kukuliko itabidi ahame hiyo kanisa akuwache That's why unabi wa Amosi sura ni nane msiri wa mstari wa 11 inaanza inaanza kutimia makanisa kutahamwa na watu maana kuna mshirika ambaye atasikia mahubiri kama haya kwa mtandao na akaanza kutafuta kwa mchungaji wake na haipati atangoa nanga atatembea na marika sema na watatembea kusini hadi mashariki kaskazini hadi magharibi wakitafuta neno maana neno hili litakuwa adimu maana wamechoka na kile ambacho pasa na wapatia wanataka kitu hiyo na wakati revival sasa imeanza kazi na imeanza lack of revelation kukosa ufunuo kukosa ufunuo sasa hapa petro mtume wa bwana anasemaje anatuambia wherefore you must get up the loins of your mind kwamba ukaweza kufunga hmm? funga kiuno cha akili zako funga kiuno chake funga kiuno cha akili zako mawazo zako funga funika funga vilivyo hmm? then be sober kuwa na kiasi yani hali ya kuwa soba kama macho kwa nini? Na hali ya kuwa unakamasha maana Facebook ni chafu, YouTube ni chafu, eh? Social media ni chafu. Imejaa vitu ambavyo kikuingia kwa akili zako. Pasa kihubiri unamwangalia na pia unakumbuka una zile mapicha uliona. So naambiwa funga hapa. Kaza hapa. Kiuno chako funga. Lafu shikilia matumaini, tumainia hadi mwisho ukitarajia neema ile utakayoletewa neema ile utakayopokezwa 
Nema utakao ipokea wakati ule ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo utakapo kufikilia. Kama itakufikia ufunuo wa Yesu, basi lazima umetafuta. Kama ufunuo wa Yesu utakufikia, basi lazima umehubiriwa. Kama ufunuo wa Yesu utakufikia, lazima kuna mahali mtumishi wa Mungu ametumika akuingize kwa msaada wa Roho Mtakatifu. Na pia kama ufunuo utakufikia, ni wewe umetafuta, umeomba, umetamani, umetafuta kwa Bwana. Waambia Lord I want revelation. So how many of us can just enter into a real fast? I'm a God. I want to know Jesus. It took me some 10 years. One common prayer that I prayed for 10 years is prayer nataka ufunuo. Nataka ufunuo. Nataka nikujue because nilikuwa nashindwa kanisani. Ni mimi nishike vitu vizuri. Ama ni nini? So mimi niliona kana kwamba mimi ndo sishiki na mahubiri yamo tu. When it reached some year 2012 is when something happened to my life. Ufunuo wa Yesu. Na mpaka leo nimebadilisha hivyo ufunuo wa Yesu. Then kaangalia Let me let me nipige hesabu. When did I begin this journey? Then I flashed back when I began the journey. Na maomba ambayo nimeyaomba. Come on. Every time I will fast, among other things I'll ask, one that was so common, ni baba naomba ufunuo wa Yesu. I want to know. I want to have revelation. I want to know. Huyo Yesu wa msalaba, huyo Yesu wa makaburi, huyo Yesu anayehubiriwa, huyo Yesu ambaye anatajwa, I wanted to know. And today, I know. Nikapiga hesabu ya by, by that time and by reaching the time na part of no wa Yesu 10 years Why did it take 10 years maybe the more I was praying ilikuwa ina peace one by one Kama nikipata mhubiri ambaye angenihubiria mambo sana angechangia sana maybe hii nilichukua miaka kumi kujua this revelation of Jesus Could have maybe I've taken one year Maybe you could have taken less. But maybe ilinichukua muda because mahubiri ambayo nilikuwa nasikia iliniwacha na na ladha kidogo tu kwa nataka bado. And it is true because hmm, one time I was in a church ambayo alileta mhubiri mmoja ambaye alihubiri kanisa yetu akairarua makaratasi. He simply mutilated the church into pieces. Tukagundua kwamba he The revelation that that preacher had about Jesus. Nilijua sio kama pastor wetu ana kitu. Ile ni wacha na njaa kutaka kumjua Yesu. The Lord remember the late Dan Reverend Dan of Diambo in Jesus name. He was among their first preachers ambao walihubiri kanisani mambo ya Yesu. Nikajua kwamba kwetu hatuna kitu kama ningepata uchungaji kama hao mahubiri kama hayo maybe hiyo ni moja tu nilipata kama ningepata mahubiri kama hizo maybe kumi. then singechukua miaka kumi kuingia kwa ufuno. na leo hii ni watu wangapi wako kama mimi enzi hizo unahubiriwa tu 10% i mean 1% ya Yesu 0.1% ya Yesu 0.000001 ya Yesu so Yesu kwako ni kama Unajebu nusie manukato inatokea wapi? Na ni mtu amepita na perfume. Alipita ngambo ile upepo ile harufu hiyo mpaka ngambo hii manukato hayo. But today Mungu naomba inue watumishi ambao watahubiria ufuno. Haleluya. Ufike mahali ambamo unapata ufunuo wa Yesu. Ukimpata kwa ufunuo then man, yani unapitia mahubiri haya unalinganisha na na, na ufunuo ambao unaupata yani roho huyo ufunuo anakuelekeza kwa maandiko huyu ndio Yesu neno hili na huyo Yesu na kwa kitu kimoja naambia you can change people you will change people utajua matumaini ya wokovu utajua tumaini la kuokoka it is just another dimension as obedient children verse number 14 
not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. As obedient children, kama wana watifu, ama watoto watifu. Ama wahinindi. Katika mfanyiko wa hapo awali, mfanyiko wa kitambo, mfanyiko wa mwenendo wako wa zamani, kama mtu wa zamani, hmm, na tamaa za zamani, bazi na lingana, hmm, ambazo ulienenda kwa ajili ya ujinga wako. Mamba ya zamani. I'm trying to translate. Kwa mana no mengi sana, maandiko hilo. Kwamba ukosefu wa ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo inafanya kwamba hmm, sisi japo tumo katika maisha ya kusema tunamjua Yesu bado tunaenenda kwa mitindo za zamani fashion ya zamani tamaa ya zamani uh, na, na mienendo za zamani kitambo ambamo tulikuwa wajinga so that's why kuna watu tumeokoka and this is what Jesus was showing me. Tuko kanisa tumempenda Yesu. Lakini tukiangalia maisha yako na tabia yako ya maisha na tamaa na maisha na mawazo na akili zako za maisha haya ni ya mtu wa kale. Lakini nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. There's nothing about you that has changed much. Just the name kwamba today you are brother or sister so and so lakini wewe kikiumana leo utamvua Yesu kama nguo naambia hapa kuna Yesu utavua koti ambia kuna Yesu hapa tuonane wanadamu kwa wanadamu sema lazo kuna watu wakishako sana sana tunamwambia see i thought you are saved i thought una Yesu ambia shut up there is no issue of jesus here lipa, lipa pesa yangu kuna cha Yesu hapa pay me ama nikuweke ndani Ndiyo ndio hapa Petro anaongelea. Petro hangeongea mambo haya kama hakupata ufunuo wa Yesu. Akamjua Yesu. This man maandiko yasema they change a city upside down. Waligeuza wali mji mzima. Watu hawa wachache. Asa ufunuo wake ndio hii anatuambia. Hmm? Anasema verse number 15 but as he which has called you is holy so ye also so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Kama vile, hmm, kama vile aliyewaita pia ni mtakatifu. Basi na nyinyi vile vile mweni watakatifu katika mienendo yenu yote. Mienendo inayoongelewa ni Jesu tunavyoishi. Unaishi namna gani? How do we? Hmm? Si utakatifu wa Jumapili pekee kama utafunuliwa Yesu mhubiri ambaye atakuwa na ufunuo wa Yesu atahubiri hii mahubiri ya Petro na uwe tayari kwamba unaweza wachwa na watu nosibanishe mahubiri maana ukikuacha baadaye unaweza gundua ulikuwa sawa warudi so Petro na Petro na waongelea hmm? na mweni watakatifu Jinsi ye alivu waita pia ni mtakatifu. Mwenende, that means tabia yako duniani. Mana kanesani, you only, you only appear on Sunday. That's why ibadazetu vile naangalie takubakia hivyo hivyo. For a long time. As the time goes by. <laughs> Friday itakue inaja. Sunday inaja. Tuesday inaja. Wednesday inaja. Oh my God. because kama utahubiri mambo ambazo unafunua Yesu kwa watu watu ambao watasikia watashika roho huo wa roho wa toba hmm? roho wa ufunuo wa Yesu watahitaji kutubu lakini tunapata hiyo ndio masaa huko kanisani masaa mengine yote kwa mfano siku zingine zote au huko kanisani wewe ni raia huko nje so utakatifu ambao umefunuliwa kwako mbao umetoka mana na ufunua wa Yesu Kristo itaonekana ndani yako kule nje na hivi na vile tutafunua tuta Yesu kule nje kwa watu na wengi watasaidika sasa tunaambia mweni watakatifu 
katika mienendo yenu yote jinsi yeye aliyewaita pia ni mtakatifu kwa kuenda kumalizia because it is written be holy for i am holy maana imeandikwa mweni watakatifu maana mimi ni mtakatifu huyo Yesu ambaye atajifunua kwako ni mtakatifu ukimjua hautakuwa na shida na utakatifu ukimjua hautakuwa na shida kutembea kwa imani ukimjua hautaenenda katika hali za giza ukimjua hautaona ugumu kuacha mambo ya kale That's why some of us natuchukua na sema ah nilizaliwa nikinyoanga box nitaishi nikinyoa box taeko kwa sanduku nikiwa na box wana Yesu akikuja pia ataninyakua nikiwa na box So toka wahubiri ambao leo hii wanakaranga nywele Wahubiri ambao leo hii wanajipaka rangi Wahubiri ambao leo hii wanajiweka chain Mambo haya waliyafanya hata kabla wampate Yesu So kama umeya maintain katika wokovu then kuna kitu ambao ni ufunuo wa Yesu hawajaipata So nikiwaongelea hivi ni kuwachokoza na wachokoza Si ajabu hao ndio nakubiria na t-shirt na jeans na sneakers This ni Afrika nikikubiria hapa na jeans na sneakers labda tumeenda tumeenda outing tumeenda outing na inatonga sijui inaitwa nini outing eh teen something something hiyo ni kule kini kwa madhabao hapa siruhusiwe kama Yesu angefunuliwa kwa watu sawa sawa wa Kenya mabango za waganga zote sio nyango pekee atakuwa na yachoma hmm. sio nyango pekee atakuwa na yaharibu nimeharibu mpaka nikiweka bango zangu barabarani waganga wote na yandama kulipiza kisasi itakuwa ni kwamba wa, wa, kila mkristo atajua kwamba hii ndio kitu liniharibu anazingoa unaangoa lakini leo hii hatuwezi kuyangoa maana ukiangoa utakosa contact point ya kwenda kwa mganga huwezi kuyangoa because roho wa uganga ndio mlitoka kanisani ukiiguza unapinga neema iliyo kushikilia ndio maana waganga wengi watishiki na kanisa umefungua kanisa anakuja anafungua kioski yake hapo anaandika mganga wa kienyeji toka Pemba Omari bin Laden na ni kanisa iko hapa na yeye ameka yake pale atishiki mimi hapa mganga aweke kioski yake hapa ni fire because haiwezekani mapepo wa gano atakuja area hii but why mbona waganga wana ujasiri kama huo because neema ya uganga imeingia kwa makanisa mengine waliletwa so wa, wa, wanavaa mavazi mapaso wanavaa mavazi nafikiri holy saints kumbe chini ya madhabao wamechimba chimba mafuta za manyuru hamwezi fukuza waganga chini ya mafuta umeweka ma, chini ya madhabao umechimba chimba mafuta za mwai the lord have mercy on you in jesus name Hallelujah. Bwana warehemu katika jina la Yesu. Utakatifu. Maandiko yasema verse number 17. Mtu mm, tueni watakatifu. And if you call on the Father who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Na kama mtamuitia Baba ambaye mm, bila ya kuheshimu watu ama wanadamu ana hukumu wote kulingana na hukumu wanadamu wote kulingana na matendo yao na kazi zao basi hapa duniani enendeni kwa hofu wana siwe lakini duniani leo hii watu wanaishi duniani kana kwamba ni <laughs> wako na title deed ya dunia Watu wanaishi duniani hapa kana kwamba hawatawahi kufa. Na wanaishi kana kwamba wakikufa mambo yameisha. Maisha yao yameisha wakishakufa. Hawaji kwamba baada ya kifo baada ya mauti ni hukumu. Soishi maisha haya duniani enenda kwa hofu sana. 
Ukija kama number one dunia hii una expiry date uta expire kama sio hivyo hmm? unaweza nyakuliwa Yesu akikuja kama uta expire jua kwamba kuna tarehe na siku ya hukumu enenda kama ho, kwa hofu sana lakini atuende kwa hofu maana hatujahubiriwa hiyo hatuende kwa utakatifu maana hatujahambiwa hatujapea taswira ya Yesu kamili kwamba upande mmoja wa Yesu ni hukumu tena gadhabu warema Yesu wanema bwana wanema Yesu hatujaambiwa kwamba wagadabu Yesu wagadabu Yesu moto wa kulamba kuotea mbali ni Yesu anaweza akiamua kukuramba kuzima atakuwa anafanya hivi da fimbo kisha hukumu anaisha kikimbo hivi unabebwa juu mpaka kuzimu wala ambao ni wakwenda kuzimu mkono wa kushoto wakuwa binguni pande wa kulia na fimbo lake ya kuarusha kuzimu atanyosha tv scepter of judgment kwaambia mtaenda na siku hiyo hautaona Yesu akisimile siku hiyo hautamwona Yesu arehema siku hiyo hautamwona Yesu wa neema maana neema itakuwa imeisha we have been given a picture of Jesus that is just a little shadow of who Jesus is that's why tunacheza tunafanya nyoko nyoko kila mahali ndio maana watu hawajui toba kama utafanya toba kumbuka kwamba Yesu huyu amekupa nafasi muda wa kutubu ndio maana bado ni warehema sio kimba wanema Yesu wanema kubwa neema yake ni kubwa baada amekuacha na ngoja utatubu je utabadilika anakutumia watumishi ambao watakusaidia mimi Mungu utawapeni wachungaji wanipende zao moyo wangu watakao walisheni nini maarifa na ufahamu kilisha hayo maarifa na ufahamu utamjua Yesu you shall know him na utaenenda katika hali ambayo dunia hii utatembea na hofu sana utaenda kwa hofu nisimkwaze Mungu nisifanye masihara nisilete masihara verse number 18 for as much as you know that You are redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold for as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamp without blemish and without spot so kwa maana tujua kwamba tulikombolewa sio na vitu ambavyo vinaweza haribika kama kama fedha na dhahabu hmm? wala sio kwa ma, mienendo za ubatili ambayo tuliyapokea hmm? kupitia itikadi za baba zetu bali kwa damu ya Kristo Yesu mwana kondoo asiye na mawa hmm? wala uchafu who verily was for ordained before foundation of the world ambaye kitambo na, na enzi zile alifanywa kuchaguliwa haleluya so yesu alikuweko enzi zile but was manifest in these last times for you lakini sasa amefunuliwa kwetu so tangu mwanzo alikuweko yesu na leo huyu sasa anafunuliwa kwetu haleluya who by him do believe in God na kwa yeye Yesu tunamwamini Mungu that raised him up from the dead aliyemfufua toka wafu and gave him glory akampa utukufu that your faith and hope might be in God ili ma, ili imani yenu na matumaini yenu iwe katika Bwana seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and to unfeigned love of the brethren hmm? see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently nikimaliza being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of god which liveth and abideth forever for all flesh is as grass 
All the glory of man as a flower of grass. The grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Neno hilo tawabirien. Hallelujah. So tunatadarishwa sana. Na mtu kushaingia miaka kama rubaini hivi. Please jichunge jisu na vyotembea. Mana once you enter hizo miaka. Anything ambao na wangezea hapo inajalisha sana utaenda wapi. Once umeingia miaka hamsini. Anza kuishi maisha ya nadhiri na kulipa nadhiri zako kwa Bwana. Miaka 60 ukiingia, anza kuishi maisha kwamba unaweza ondoka duniani anytime. So that ukiondoka usiwe na chochote mizigo ya watu, <laughs> wachana na watu. Miaka 70, uje kwamba ikipita hapo, wewe duniani yana persona na ngrata. Uweza chukuliwa any given time. Maana ni bonus. Someone pokea ufunuo wa Yesu. Pokea ufunuo wa Yesu. Mjue Yesu huyu. Asiwe Yesu mchezaji mpira. Bao mmemsikia kule Brazil. So he's not Jesus the footballer. Neither asiwe ni Yesu Elimas. Mbaye Paulo anamzungumzia katika matendo ya mitume. Hmm? 13 kwanza mstari wa sita. Anaongelea bari Jesus. Eh, muabudu shetani mkubwa mganga maarufu. Mbaye kidogo afanana na nabii wa Mungu. Kidogo nabii wa shetani. He is called a false prophet. Mbaye majina yake anamaliza na Yesu. Hmm, Elimas bari Jesus. Sio huyo but you better know Jesus. Kama utamjua Yesu, anza kwa maombi ya ufunuo. Nimefika wakati ambao kama pastor wako akulishi sawa sawa. Tafuta sasa. Tafuta, mwambie Bwana, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know because hauta kuzimu baada ya tunaambia woi Mungu, mimi si ningeingia kuzimu, mnile tu my pastor akuniambia mambo haya pastor akunifundisha. Yes atakwambia too late. Where's the blame pastor wako mbele ya Bwana? Maana labda yeye pia eh, alikosa material. Sio ni kama mtu pastor anaweza atazama na watu wengi sana. Na shetani ametumia kitu inaitwa pyramid scheme principle. Kusanya watu kuongeza kuzimu. Pastor askofu ama bishop anaingia ushetani leo wamejaa kwa tibi Joshua au mapasa wa Kenya ambao mnachukua vitu kwa pasta mwenda kwa uh, tibi Joshua ni nini mmekosa kwa Mungu mkaenda kule Niku, mko na upofu hamuna bidii ya kuomba Mungu awapatie ufuno that's why ni mapasa wachache sana unajua kwamba tibi Joshua is an agent of darkness chache wa mapasa wachache sana But wewe sasa umejua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. God the loins of your mind. Baba Mungu ishe milele. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Nasema ni asante kwa ajili ya mahubiri na neno lako. Watu wako hawa na waombea. Neno lako likafanya kuwachochea. Roho wako akawachochea. Nuru yako ikawaangaza mioni mwao. Waingize katika hali ya kukutamani. Waingize katika mfanyiko wa kukujua. Waanze mchakato wa kutafuta njia zako. Na Mungu ujifunue kwao. Naomba kama Bwana, waingize katika hali ambayo Bwana ni hali ambayo walitamani. Wakujue Yesu zaidi, tena zaidi kwa undani, tena kwa undani sana. Mara tena baba na kutukuza na nalo katukuzwa. Katika Yesu Kristo tuaomba. Amen. Bwana wabariki sana. Haleluya. Wala ambao unasikia mahubiri haya, fanya bidii. Umjue Yesu na wacha mzaha. Tumjue Yesu na tuwache mzaha. 